In parts of drought-stricken Texas, residents are cleaning up this morning after a fast-moving storm left thousands without power. My window broke, sent glass towards my bed. The twister ripped the roof off Bobby Hunter's house early Sunday morning. It tore a hole through what used to be his living room and sent his deck into his neighbor's yard. I've been in tornadoes before, and I usually hear a train sound, but I didn't even hear that. It was just a big gush of wind. Several homes were damaged, but no major injuries were reported. Signs and debris littered streets, mail trucks tossed around like toys at this postal center. The storm's heavy rains also caused flash flooding. The water rose so fast that this woman and her daughter had to be rescued from their car. If anything happened to me, then it would have been fine as long as my daughter was okay. That's all that mattered. They're gonna bring the tarp back on the field. Near Dallas, the wet weather interrupted the American League playoffs. Game one on Saturday between the Texas Rangers and the Detroit Tigers had to be stopped twice Game two last night was rained out. The storm brought some much needed rain to Texas. Up to five inches fell over the weekend in some areas. San Antonio set a record with three inches of rainfall on Sunday alone. Despite all the rain, forecasters say the storm wasn't enough to put a dent in the state's historic drought. We're starting to chip away, but we are still technically in exceptional drought conditions. Some areas received more rain in one day than they got all summer and even more rain is expected next week.